are here. We've had them on the show many times and we featured them on the show on Friday uh, from uh, uh, for our stories from the spectrum. And uh, so welcoming Garth Herberg, Jason Weisbrode, and I think that Dominique Brown is there as well. Look at you guys. It's Hello. So, it's so thrilling to be with all of you. Dominique, I, I love that you're you've got your May the 4th shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> Super cool. So let's start with uh I, I'm gonna let you guys do most of the talking here. We I, I mentioned spec labs. I'm trying to be better about this because I sort of marked it up last week. You guys go, go by spec labs or spectrum laboratory. Is that correct? Have I almost got it it. now? You Um, got it. Okay. So uh, let's first of all talk about the mission of Spectrum Laboratory and what's been going on recently. Who wants to give the update? You want to take that, Jay? Uh, Sure. Recently, Spectrum Laboratory, we have been in our uh, spring classes. We've been running, uh, I don't know how many classes, seven, eight, nine classes right now or something like that. Uh, we got voice acting classes, we got improv comedy classes, film uh, film short film production classes, where we actually created a short film for the Easter Seals Disability Film Challenge that Dominique and myself directed together called The Spectrum League, which is available on YouTube right now. It's a superhero, awesome, fun, fun film. Uh, Garth, on the music end, you want to talk about what you've been up to? Yeah, well, I mean, one of the big things we wanted to talk about was this this upcoming concert we've got happening mm-hmm. summer of spec it's a very very epic concert but more generally speaking our, our mission is, is really to entertain and to educate and collaborate with the autism community and um like what jason was saying we we have programs in a variety of artistic mediums uh voiceover filmmaking music um visual art so we combine all these programs um a big talent pool and we try to give hands-on experience to um, talented people in the autism community that are looking for a chance to either further their, their talent, um, connect with like-minded artists, um, or have a greater ambition and would like to do it professionally. We've uh, also been really proud to bring in a lot of work to, uh, to our artists in recent years. Amazing work that you've done. And, and Dominique, you've participated in some of that work. Was was this the first time, Dominique, that you had directed something uh, that when you co-directed the Easter Seals Challenge? Yeah, this is the first time. Wow. Was it super fun? Yeah, it was very fun. I don't know how it couldn't be with Jason at your side, right? Because <laughs> these two guys are some of the funnest guys I know. Tell them, before we talk about Summer of Spec, tell them a little bit about how Spec Labs came to be. Oh, yeah, it was... Uh... What was it, Jay? Maybe like eight years ago now where we where the idea started? Yeah, I mean, um, Garth, you always like to tell, because we have got Dom on here, you always like to tell kind of how Garth and I were working together. And we've been friends for a long time. We knew each other since high school. Uh, and we reconnected. Uh, and you're working professional. I mean, yeah, this, this is yes. our, this is your thing. And Jason, yeah. you're more on the, I don't, I don't want to speak for you. You tell you're more on the film side, but. Well, I've always, I mean, since I've been like, you know, a teenager, I was acting in commercials and TV and film through my twenties. And I directed short films and movies and commercials. And I was in the Hollywood machine for many, many years. And, uh, and then uh, fell into the autism community and started working with uh, different organizations there and just meeting lots of amazing people like Dominique and listening to their stories and just realizing there's the film medium would just be an amazing. And I and living in LA, I couldn't believe there weren't programs that were teaching filmmaking or acting for camera and stuff for the autism neurodiverse community. Right. So that, that kind of blew my mind. And then Garth on the music end said, you know, he wants to start recording songs because he met, Garth, you should talk about when you met Dom yeah, it's and how it crazy inspired you. I tell this story a lot, but usually, Dominique, you're not there. <laughs> so, yeah, like, I was doing a lot of music direction, and Jason and I were working together, and I remember working with you. You were um, in the cast, and we were, we were, like, writing an original musical sort of in the moment. It was unfolding in real time. And, Dom, you came up to me, 
and you had a folder like filled with hundreds of pages of songs. And you, and you told me, I think I have a song for the show. And you were just like, okay. You know, like a minute later, you like got to the exact page of the song that you wanted. And I was like, cool, let me hear it. And you started singing uh, a song. It was brilliant. And I think we were working with, um, oh, the very talented Zach Marsh at the time. And oh, yeah. uh, I, remember, I remember saying, all right, Dom, why don't you sit down with Zach and see if you can flush this out? Because I was, I was busy kind of doing some other music direction. And then, yeah, we have this song and it was at that moment I kind of thought, oh, somebody like Dominique, I would really like to help him um, record a lot of those yeah, songs. Yeah, make a record. So well, it wasn't long after that, Jason and I got together and we were thinking, you know, what if we used our respective talents, Jason in filmmaking, myself, I have a, a background in, in recording music and composing. Um, what if we put that together and focus more on production? Um, Dominique and, and artists like him being, you know, front and center in my mind for uh, for recording music. Well, and yeah. now you guys, I, I mean, the legacy of what you guys have done is just like he We're never going to be able to know the, like how big of an impact you guys have made because it's ginormous. And and Dom, when I think of all the things, you know, it's like I turn on the TV and you're on all the time, one way or the other. You act, you sing, you perform in a band my goodness what uh I, i've seen you dance for heaven's sake in shows what can't you do dom you're you're like a renaissance man <laughs> is there is there anything that you want to study now that you like can you uh, are you doing drawing yet yes i i mean i i don't animate but i do draw there I, you I, go I, well maybe that'll be next we just all get the pleasure of living in your creative world, <laughs> which is yes. what our, our well, audience may have seen uh, Dominique on a typical or, of course, I can't think of it right now. What's the name of that wonderful movie that you did um, with the girl? Uh, please who, stand by. Which one? Please, please stand by. Yes, family. please stand by. Oh, yeah, my goodness. And you were you were fantastic in that. So yeah, one thing I just wanted to say was uh, what what we do with Spec Labs and why Dom's here and, and kind of a big part of us now is just it's not as a sh like a, a student. Dom is actually part of our team now. So Dom was in our first class we ever had, and now Dom uh, is my one of my assistant te teachers, instructors in the film class, and that's why he got to direct the movie with me. And he's, you know, producing tracks in the music program. And so now Dom is a member of the Spectrum Laboratory Workforce. That's so he's hired him. So Congratulations to everybody. That's something we're trying to do more with within Spec Labs is get our artists work and showcase their work. And that leads us to Summer of Spec, which is the big live concert production that Garth is really at the helm putting together. And, and, All right. And, Tell us everything um, we need to the music know. Program. Yeah. Tell us yeah. everything, guys. I'm so excited about it. Um, well, let's see. I mean, first of all, we, we in our seven years of being Spectrum Laboratory, we've amassed a lot of music. So we've decided to put um, on display a lot of our original music, um, some of which was written uh, by songwriters like Dominique or like Lucas Saluski, um, or many others that were written in collaboration. And what we've done is we've taken a lot of our music and we've arranged it for this whole ensemble consisting of, you know, uh, students and performers in our stage performance workshop and in our live band. So we have 14 musicians. And then we also have two actors that are going to be emceeing and sort of taking you on a bit of a journey through this concert. It's, it's much more than just a concert. It is going to be a show. Um, Jason and, and myself uh, worked on the writing uh, alongside our, our director, Kathy McCauley. Um, to create a sort of, to, to weave a story into um, this experience, to sort of bring the audience live into the experiment of Spectrum Laboratory. So you can get sort of a deeper sense of, of what our mission is, what we do, what we're all about um, through the art. You know, let the, let the music speak for itself. Um, it's going to be an hour and a half. Uh, show and it's going to be happening at Playa Studios, the beautiful Playa Studios in Culver City, um, and that's on June seventeenth. Um, what else can I say? We actually, uh, in your honor, Shannon, uh, for all of the viewers of Autism Live, 
we have a special discount. Um, if you go to get tickets and you put in "We Love Shannon" all caps, <laughs> "We Love Shannon," you can get ten percent off tickets. Um, this concert is a fundraiser, um, which goes towards helping to keep us uh, happy and healthy at Spec Labs, funding all, all our programs, our financial aid, our uh, you know dreams of expansion. We're looking at new spaces. Um, there's a lot we need to accomplish and we want to grow and we need your help, but we want you to come and have a great time in the process of helping us achieve all those goals. Um, what more can I say? It's just gonna be amazing. You can actually see um, all the performers right there on that flyer too. Okay, so I have a question. So yes. it's at the Playa Studios, but are you also doing a live stream of it? Can people buy tickets if they're far away? Well, I don't know about the live stream, but what I can tell you is we are going to be doing an amazing recording and filming of the show. Okay. So for those who cannot attend, we will have a follow-up and it will look and sound amazing. Um, but you know, if you can't be there, but you, you've subscribed to our mission and our cause, you can still donate to the fundraiser, uh, show your support and love. Tell, tell somebody you know that can be there, that would enjoy it, that's a, that's a music lover um, and a lover of the autism community. So yes, there's, there are ways to get involved if you can't be there and we'll have an amazing uh, video to share. Well, we and may look into are... a live stream because that's not a bad idea for those who may want to, you know. Yeah. Bob DeMarco yeah. says he'll be there. Bob, hey, I'll be uh, there too. He, yeah, I hope so. He's, he's playing in it. Oh. I think I need to talk to Bob. Yeah, we're, we're looking for maybe a, a secret weapon uh, guitar slinger on the side. Yeah. <laughs> play with us. You got to talk, Bob. Get you into some rehearsals. Well, <laughs> well there, there should be a code, we love Bob, right? Because uh, everybody loves Bob. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, for so... For people who are in the Los Angeles area, though, where do they need to go to get the tickets? So right on that flyer, you'll see, get your tickets now. Um, easiest thing to remember is just speclabs.org. The exact site is speclabs.org slash summer of spec. But if you just go to our homepage, you'll see it front and center. There it is. Uh, get your tickets. So go to www.speclabs.org. Oh, wow. It looks like there's four W's on that flyer. <laughs> okay, we'll have to it does look put that back. <laughs> uh, it's an extra W because you're extra. Um, <laughs> but, uh, and when you go there, if you would like to get the 10, it is a donation, but if you'd like to get the 10% off the tickets because you want to bring more people with you and that's what you want to do, there is a coupon code and you, in all caps, we love Shannon. That made me laugh this morning when I saw that. You guys are <laughs> hilarious. Um, and, and, uh, so don't leave me hanging. Don't make it look like there's only one person who loves me. So, uh, get your tickets and put in the code there, save yourself 10%, but make a donation because these programs don't happen just because. And, and one of the things that we're working on here at the autism network is we see that there are, there's so much talent, right? But if, if talent isn't fed, if talent isn't nourished, if it isn't mentored, then it, it doesn't get as many opportunities as talent that has been mentored and fed. And, and so we love what you guys are doing. We've seen what you guys have been doing for eight years, and we think it's remarkable, which is why we wanted you guys to be involved in so many things that we've been doing lately. And we also see how the work that you have been doing with artists starts to translate into employment like Dom. Uh, I mean, Dom, how amazing is it now that this place where you were taking classes for years, now you're an employee. Uh, is this a big difference for you? And, and are you loving it? Yeah, I mean, you know, aside from you know, working as a student, I'm actually, you know, I'm actually getting to help out a lot in classes. So it's, yeah, I think it's a huge difference for me. And whenever you can work as an artist, that's a good day, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, for all of us. So I, I just have so much respect for what you guys are doing, whether it's the beginning classes that you guys do or the more advanced classes or the way you're mentoring people into employment. I've watched this year. 
I mean, last fall, we came to you very quickly and said, we're starting um, the Autism Network and we need a new opening for Autism Live. And we hired your some of your artists and you guys did our opening that you guys get to see at the start of every show with the, with the birds and the tree and the meep, meep, meep. Um, yeah. which we, and even we, and the music behind it too. And the music behind, artists. in fact, all of yeah. the music that Pretty happened. Much the whole opening is created by Spectrum Laboratory. We had two amazing visual artists, Amos Stillwell and Cooper Berea, who put that open in the visuals. And then Sean McRae did the oh. com composition, the music for it. Yeah. In fact, all of the music that, that we use that's incendiary on um, Autism Live almost all of it, I think 99.99% .99 of it was created um, by Spec Lab artists with uh, Garth mentoring. Is oh, that wow. not true? So, so, some of the other interstitial music we made, that's right. Yeah, that was working with um, Lucas Lewski, um, Atticus uh, Jackson. Yeah, there's uh, there's some good talent in that pool. Yeah. 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 And, and we were happy that we got to part have you guys participate with us for our maiden voyage of Stories from the Spectrum. And we're hoping that more of your artists, because uh, we now have, uh, we're looking for artists on the spectrum who want to make uh, short, short films about anything to be featured on Stories from the Spectrum. So, and, yeah. and we are paying, it's not a huge amount of money, but we are paying for artists to do that, we're super proud of that. But I don't think that I don't think it would have occurred to us that that was a thing and that we could if it hadn't been for the work that you guys are doing. Oh, thanks. So, yeah, um, how, how uh, I got to talk more with my I got Dom. You got to make something for stories on the spectrum. Dom, yeah, yeah. where's your story? <laughs> do you want to make a story? Did you you were in the one the other day because we fe featured Cheers, which you guys did years ago, which is up. Uh, I, I've loved so many things that you guys have done. Um, first thing I saw was was Big Mouth, and I thought I was going to fall on the floor and die laughing. And that <laughs> featured you, Dominique. Tell them what Big Mouth is. Uh, Big Mouth is one of the first songs that I did with Speck Lab. And it was created, uh, the video was created back in 2015. Um, you know, we, we filmed it a Whole bunch of different places, uh, no, Leo Beck Temple and uh, Universal City Walk. But what's the story behind it? Who do you play in this music video? Because it's hilarious. <laughs> okay, I played this. I I I play this guy who, you know, his friends say they can't hang out with him because his girl, his girl's got a big mouth. And I can't relate to it at all. <laughs> I can't relate. He, ba he basically hasn't seen it yet, but until you know, one day, one day he finally, while he's getting ready for a date with her, you now he's finally seeing that she does have a big mouth. <laughs> but it yeah. is hilarious. First thing that I ever saw that you guys did, and I just I remember going, "Oh my gosh, this is brilliant!" And then of course the next thing I saw was Chicken Bone. And and people can still watch these, right? Where do they need to go to oh, watch? Oh yeah, they're all on our YouTube page. We have a we have I mean over a hundred videos of content on our YouTube page, um, all made by autistic artists uh, and neurodivergent artists. It's uh it's but YouTube just type in Spectrum Laboratory on YouTube and you'll see a little image with our logo and you'll go to our YouTube page and. Uh, you know, there's short films, music videos, there's animation, there's behind the scenes stuff, there's all sorts of, you know, live music performances all on our YouTube page. Um, I think, uh, the, yeah, you guys just put it in the chat there. Yeah. Our YouTube page. It's, uh, there's so much great stuff and music videos over the years. I mean, there's so many amazing music videos that it's, I think that's one of our, one of our best things we've done over the years is made some really amazing music videos. And then of course, some short films that have gone to film festivals, like our short film, Boys Don't Wear Dresses, yeah. that went to, you know, a bunch of film festivals and won awards. And you can see the trailer for that on our website. But if you actually want to watch the movie, you can contact us to watch Boys Don't Wear Dresses. Or if you want to learn more about our program, or, you know, if you got a kid who wants to make music videos or write songs, just, hit up Spectrum Laboratory, go to our website, speclabs.org, and 
if you're in LA, come to our show on June 17th. Yes, eat, please. Eat us. Eat us. Come see it. Yeah. Come see it live. <laughs> yeah, you you guys have a tradition that every year, and it's usually in June, uh, for a lot of years you called it Spec Fest, right? Spec Fest, yeah. And um, and I heard about it. It was always on uh, on the week of my son's birthday. And so there were there were years when I was like, I just could not get to it, but I always heard about it. Heard it was one of the best things all year long. And then finally you moved it just a couple of days and I was able to go to one and I went, holy business. Because if you ever want to be filled with hope about what the future is for the world of neurodiverse people, and you have a you have a kiddo and you're like, what are they going to be like as a teen? What are they going to be like as an adult? If you want to peer into the future and see happiness, go to one of these things. Uh, it's a party. And it's a party with artists and where they get to show off how amazing they are. And, and it's not just one thing. It's like somebody sings and then somebody shows a movie and, and, you know, you just get bombarded with hope and art. We're, we're changing up the format a little bit just because okay. we, we have so much to give that we we're, we're, what we're doing is we're now talking about um, like for some respect, this is just going to be a live concert and stage show. And then later in the year, there's talks about a dedicated film festival. So we're kind of like uh, I don't know. We're we're sort of um, the branch. Well, we used to, we used to you know, have the live music and then show a video and live music and show a video and it was wonderful, but it was it was hard to run and it was chaotic a little bit getting the band on stage and then showing a movie. So we kind of thought, oh, maybe we'll do some something during the summer where it's you know music heavy, where we do a live show and showcase all the music, and then actually do like a sit down for the autism and neurodivergent uh, neurodiversity communities like it. Uh, screening um, in a yeah. theater or something like that. Like we oh. did a, a screening at the El Rey Theater before um, where we can actually sit and watch all the music videos and watch the short films that we've created over the year. And then maybe even bring in some, I'm thinking about bringing in more work from outside, like uh, honoring some people in the community and bringing in some, you know, and just making it more of a community festival. So that's something I'm thinking of with trying to get together for December um, for the yeah. end of the year and calling, and that will be the Spec Fest. Um, so there we continuing, go. continuing spec fest. Thank you for stopping me yeah. because this is, this is the concert. This is summer of spec Yes, and it's happening on June 17th. You guys can come to it. I guarantee you though, these folks know how to throw a party um, <laughs> and oh, yeah. it, will be, it will be a concert, but it will be a party and um, you will have a good time and you will be blown away. Your heart will be filled and it will beat a little faster because it's just that level of good. And and I came to a spec fest many years ago, and there were so many things that were great about it. But the thing that reduced me to the puddle was that video cheer, um, which was why I wanted to show it in the first um, stories of the spectrum. And this, uh, tell us a little bit about how that film came to be. Well, big shout out to uh, to Barry Rose. Um, she she's uh, one of the featured singers that. Um, came in and collaborated with all of our artists. And I was actually in a band with her many moons ago. Uh, she's a good friend and um, musical collaborator of my own that uh, just took an interest in Spectrum Laboratory. So we brought her in. Um, and then, uh, you know, in typical Spec Lab fashion, everybody got together. We were songwriting, you know, shopping different ideas. And then um, I really think it was, it was quite a group effort to uh, nail down the song. For cheers. Yeah, a lot yeah. of different artists wrote on it and sang on it. Yeah, it was a really big group collaboration. And then it was just such like a campfire type song that I just, when I went, I think one day I was like, we should just, because we went and filmed where I used to, where Garth and I used to live. We were roommates at this place uh, up in the Hollywood Hills. And yeah. I'm like, let's just do a campfire music video, like a kumbaya kind of thing. And then that's <laughs> what you end up seeing in the video is us around roasted marshmallows and and camping and it was just a really fun time more it's than anything hard. We had, yeah we had a lot really of fun filming it dom i want to know what's the most fun spec labs shoot you've been on what's been the most fun um, or I mean, one I, that you can remember that was fun there's so many that i think that were fun um you know i 
I enjoyed uh, what makes a better world, and then yeah. use your imagination. And oh, what yeah. made what That's made it fun for you? Well, you know, it, uh, it was just like you know, like a fun time because every, everybody dressing up and you were decorating, making all these, playing with all these huge, huge balloons. Awesome. Awesome. I, I just love the sense of collaboration that comes out of everything that you guys do. Um, and, and how it, I hear from the, your students and from their families and, and I see it in what you do that, that the sense of belonging that people feel like they, it's that old thing that Joanne Laura always used to talk about, about a seat at the table, that everybody that you're working with feels like they have a seat at the table, that they don't have to earn that. And, and for parents, you know, we, we will put our kids into activities, but we always worry, like, are they going to be included? Are they going to have an equal footing? Are they going to feel like they have some ownership in it? And I think there's something magic about you guys. Uh, Bob just wrote it and said, Garth and Jason are the men. Uh, <laughs> and you kind of well, are. Well, Bob Bob is the man behind the men. And I'm, there we go. Gotta <laughs> say, he's, he's been one of our longest champions. We love you so much, Bob. He's our angel. Yeah, oh, Bob angel. is amazing. I said there should be a we love Bob um, thing. But what is the magic dust that you guys do that that people could learn from that makes everybody feel like they have a voice? Ooh, oh boy! I feel like Ooh. I feel like each of us should speak to that. There's there's so so much to say. Well, our motto is "Let us be heard," and our first song we ever wrote called "Jamboree," which Dom was very heavily involved with that. Lucas and our first class uh, great artist Atticus Baldwin and Abby Romeo Lutz, and our first year, and uh, we started that first year with our theme of love, and I think. That's what it boils down to is love more than anything else. And with the motto behind it of let us be heard, which is uh, giving a voice to those who otherwise may not have the opportunity to have that voice and letting them speak with just a little push, you know, a little help from your friends, so to speak, and um, treating everyone as equals. And that's what we've done since day one. We would never have been like, this is the teacher and you are the student. It's always been like, we're together. We're a community. We're going to create awesome art as equals. And I think that's just stayed strong that way. And that's what we really do in classes. And Dom, if you speak to that, as far as like, it doesn't feel like a classroom thing. It feels like we're creating magic. We're creating art, right? In classes. Yeah, you inspired Garth so much he had to leave. Uh, he'll be back. <laughs> But uh, Dominique, what does it feel I'm like? Sorry, my my uh, my computer's about to die. I'll be back at once. I don't know. It's all good. Uh, it's all, it's a live show. These kinds of things happen all the time. Dominique, um, what's it feel like when when you're in class? Does it feel like? I mean, you must feel like you have uh, a seat at the table because you're a big part of what's happening. Oh yeah, it's it's wonderful. You know, everyone comes in. You know, just. Just you know, ready, all pumped up, ready for class, and you know we we start, you know we start we start having fun. It's where all the fun begins, you know, because when we when we start when we start getting into the ideas, then the magic comes. In. I love that. And Garth, you're back. What do you want to say? What's the what's the pixie dust? I, uh, I I love I love listening to what um, Jay and Dominique were saying because it's it's just so much about the people that are there and like what everybody has to bring you know it's so it's so unique it's so specific to each person that's involved on each day in each class you know it's and and that creates this really kind of um, that's the that's the the secret sauce that keeps changing. You know, everybody's different input, um, the way that we uplift each other, the way we work through challenges. You know, there's a lot of when you're in the creative process with, with people, you really start to peel that the layers of that onion back. You know, you really start to get to know people. So so as much as we're 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 
giving a voice to everyone, we're really listening and supporting everybody and, and doing that through the creative process. So, you know, it's, it's all about the people. It's all about listening to each other, um, about showing up and about having fun and being creative. And Bob, you know, who really should be on camera with us this morning, but Bob wrote in and said, person-centered love. And Mm. that is what it looks like, you guys. What you do, that is what it looks like. I also loved, uh, it was a couple of years ago that I was at an event that didn't have anything to do with you guys. And a young woman walked up to me and she said, I know you, I've seen you, you do that show about autism. And I said, yes, yes, uh, Autism Live. And I said, I haven't met you. And and she introduced herself and she said, I'm a spec labs artist. And there was just, and there was this, the way she said it, you know, it was with confidence and that I, I have a place in this world and this is how I identify myself. I'm a spec labs artist. And I, and I, and it was, you could just feel that she, it was exuding from her, that there, that was a pride point. And I loved that so much. I just, I was like, oh, you know, you're really doing something. When somebody stands a little taller and identifies themselves like that, I just was like, oh, so those cool. guys. Isn't that cool? cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we always do that. We call all, we don't say students. We just, they're artists. Um, we treat everyone who walks in as an artist and that they've got, we know everybody has an amazing story to tell. Everybody's got something, something inside of them. And it's about how to get that little spark out, you know, and, and a lot of a lot of people come in and they want to it's a thing with you know with the communication process in that a lot of autistic individuals have is like not being able to express that right at the beginning. But if you nurture it and you like keep working at it and you make it fun, yeah, and then eventually you'll, you'll hit that spark will, will ignite and you'll go, that's it. And then you just, you know, just keep nurturing that and and it goes from there and it turns into someone who didn't even want to talk and you know, the first class or just said, oh, this is, this, I don't want to be here into dancing on stage in front of hundreds of people at a show, you know, yeah. we've seen that happen uh, numerous times. So that's why we keep doing it. Yeah. You guys are amazing. We're running out of time. Tell them all the, the links again, where they need to go to, to see what you're doing to follow, but then to get the tickets for summer. Yes. of Spec. Go to our website. And you can get your tickets for Summer of Spec. That's speclabs.org. Um, to be even more specific, we have speclabs.org slash Summer of Spec. And you can find our socials. Um, our Facebook page is going to have a lot of stuff going on. So that's facebook.com slash Spectrum Laboratory. Um, oh, yeah. And there's our website right there. So, yeah, please go there. Um, what else can I say? Oh, yeah. The... Don't forget that coupon for all you Autism Live listeners. We love Shannon. Get your 10% off. All um, caps. All caps. All caps. We love Shannon. We right. yeah. <laughs> and we also, in the comments on all the places where we're live, uh, Traven put the link to the YouTube page. YouTube. But you can also go to YouTube and just put in Spec Labs. Spectrum and, Laboratory. Yeah. Spectrum Laboratory. And... Um, and watch some of the videos. If you're, I know people who watch cat videos to lift themselves up. Enough with the cat videos. Go over and watch <laughs> what they're doing at Spec Labs. Because I promise you, if you know and love someone who's on the spectrum, it'll lift you up. You'll go, oh, look at that. Um, absolutely adore all of you. And Dom, so happy for you that that you got uh, a, a, a raise. You got uh, <laughs> promoted. Uh, that now you're an employee. That's amazing. Uh, and I imagine they still let you have time off to go do your other professional interests since you're on TV every other week. <laughs> do you, you let him off to do that? You guys? Oh yeah. Yeah. You much have to, right? Yeah. Uh, well, he's getting these auditions and stuff and, you know, we're supporting his okay. career and, when you know, and when you're a good TV star, that's what happens. Uh, yeah. That's what it's all about. So yeah, whenever he's like, can't make class, got an audition. I'm like, that's the best reason. To miss <laughs> Perfect. We'd love to hear that. Uh, and Dom, give your mother my love too, okay? Of course. That's okay. Much love, Monique. Oh, and follow Dom on Insta, right? What's your Instagram, Dom? Uh, D cool nineteen. Cool nineteen. It's D. D period cool nineteen, right? Right. Yeah, D cool nineteen, and we have a we have Instagram too. Uh, 
Spectrum Laboratory. So oh, new connect, music, with, uh, connect with us there. Yeah. New music coming soon from Dominique Brown too. He's got a really cool, um, really great children's music that's in production that'll be coming out shortly. Maybe we'll check back in with you, Shannon, when that's already. Oh, ready to please! I can't <laughs> wait to hear that. That's wonderful. And now that we're doing more things out in the public, so thrilled. Summer of Spec, uh, June seventeenth. Now, is that a Friday or a Saturday? That's a Friday. That's Friday a Friday night. night. I didn't know. Yeah. All right. Well, I will be there and I will be excited to be there and to see this wonderful concert. You guys, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day and uh, keep those artists working and send some of them our way for stories from, uh, from the spectrum. You got it. All right. Thank you, Shannon. Thanks, Shannon. Thank you. Bye-bye. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. 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 Thanks for watching Autism Live. If you found anything helpful in this video, please give us a like. In fact, make sure that you smash that subscribe button on YouTube and give us a like on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram for important updates. And please download our free podcast wherever you get your podcasts. See you next time. Until then, give your kiddos a hug from me and one for you too. Bye-bye for now. To subscribe, click here. And if you'd like to check out some more of our videos, click here.